Okay, guys, I'm going to show you now how to run a final report, a project report, which is called SALR, and there's the number behind it, which I'll show you in a second. Now, this report, different to CJI3, which is the one that I've shown before, actually allows you to compare your budget, which is what went into the ECP, against your actuals by something called a cost element, which I'll show you in a second what it is. Um, slightly different to the other report, in the other report you report by actual activity and by person, in this report you actually do it by cost element which is just a bucket of money similar to the ones that you find on the ECP. So what I want you to do is I want you to right click on favorites and go insert transaction and in there I want you to type S underscore A L R underscore and I might zoom in so you can see it S underscore A L R underscore eight seven zero one three five four three and then tick OK yep now that's gonna bring up in your favorites that activity there that transaction there yep and then you double click on this transaction and it brings up a screen of variables yeah which looks quite familiar now in terms of SAP in there you can pick project or a number of projects like you know you can pick this project or from this project to this project from here to there or you can click on there and add a list of projects in here P289, P1, P2, P3 etc and you can run it for multiple projects um, the, 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 there's another few selections that you can do in there but I don't want you to worry about any of that and then in here you need to leave everything pretty much as it is yeah the only thing I want you to make sure that you pick, or at least make sure that it looks like that, is that in here you put under plan version, you put P02. Yeah, that's important to do if it's not already there. So once you select the project and you can search in it, like we've spoken before, click in there to search. Description of the project, you can go star, Hawaii, star, and it brings up the list of projects. And you can go Hawaii, the big island, double click, and it brings. P289 which is Hawaii and then you can go up here at the top and you can go run yeah the little clock that's gonna run the report once the report comes up it looks like this now on the left here you've got the WBS elements which is the different levels and you can see how there is you know plan source produce wrap up etc you can split by or you can just click at the very top level which is what I do right at the top there click so you can click in them you can click at the very top and that gives you the total amounts for everything yeah so here on the le on the right you see literally an Excel yeah um, and you can see um, a, a number of columns in there yeah cost elements it says in there at the top cost elements and then actuals plan variances cost element plan actual variance etc etc so what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you how to now put it into Excel. Now it may happen that when you open this report, it may actually not look like Excel, but in fact it may look like this. And I'll show you. I'm going to go to Settings, Options. And in here there is a, an option in here that it says Inactive, Microsoft Excel or Lotus. If you click on Inactive and go tick, it may look like this, the report. Yeah? And the way to get around this one is by clicking on those little forward and backward little buttons in there, yeah? So you can actually see in there that if I click forward, in fact, in this case, in the inactive case, actually it's bringing it down as a list, so I'm actually scrolling down, look at it. It's the same report. there's actually nothing to flick through with those. I thought there was going to be a little bit more but there wasn't. In any case, you just scroll down and you'll see all the different numbers in there. Yeah? But, to be honest, that's not the best way to look at it. So what I do straight away as soon as I open, if it looks like this when you open it, first thing you do is go to Settings, Options, and click on Microsoft Excel in the middle there, like I said, and click Tick, and then turn it into an Excel so it's easy. Once you turn into Excel, you can click in there, right at the top there, of all the cells. Yeah? 
and you can go right click copy and you can go into Excel and literally click at the top there and go right click paste and it'll bring out the report for you yeah now it's got a funny color so that's when you start formatting you can click in there turn it all into white and then if you want you can get rid of the top level um, and you can add the filters and you can then filter by particular cost element. The other thing that you might need to do is see how it repeats this column cost element, cost element, cost element. You might want to delete some of that. So the most important things in here are actual and project plan. Actually, is the stuff, the cost project plan is what was in the ECP. Yeah, and there is the variable and the variance in percentage. But you can actually get rid of all that. Get rid of the cost element repetition again. Delete. It repeats again this thing, so you don't need these actuals, they're all the same numbers. Delete again. And then when it gets to the third, lots of cost element, you can delete that. But what it will bring is actual quantity and plain quantity. Yeah? And that's your hours. So this is your dollars, that's your hours. Then you can delete the variable at the end. So you end up with cost element, actual project plan, which is the first three columns of the report. And then you can delete everything except actual quantity and plain quantity. <coughs> This will give you the report that you probably need, which is each one of the cost elements, which as you can see there is, you know, fees, royalties, images, you know, you tell, you know, there is all sorts of stuff in the overheads, managing layout, commissioning editor, add editorial, there is every cost element in there, and you can see time and you can see dollars. Yep. And you can save that as you want. The other way of doing it, obviously, if you go back to um, SAP is you can actually in here use the menu in Excel there and just go literally file save a copy as and you can just save a copy of this yeah okay